The fifth Global Child Forum was held on November 26, 2015 at the Royal Palace in Stockholm, Sweden. Over 400 influential international decision makers from business, governments, civil society and academia gathered for dialogue, inspiration and action on how best to improve the lives of children. By being here today, you are also making Stockholm and, and Sweden a center of knowledge on children's rights. It's a day of inspiration where we will identify opportunities and try to take action. Children are the future. If you have so many children who are being deprived of their childhood, being deprived of the opportunity to learn, being deprived of the opportunity to be safe and to laugh and to play, then that's obviously very bad for the world. So we have to do better in this area. This agenda has never been so important for human rights, for human dignity, for social justice, for social inclusion, and particularly when we at the United Nations have adopted the Global Sustainable Development Agenda 2030. The theme for the day was children's rights within the corporate sustainability agenda, with a special focus on the benefits of cross-sector partnerships. Child's rights is becoming a larger issue that corporations are seeing the enablement of rights as a core piece of, of doing business. Really creating that enabling environment in the countries where they work to have everybody grow and prosper. And if everybody grows and prospers, companies will too. I'm sure that none of you wishes to see your children grow up knowing that just down the road, other children are sleeping sick and unprotected in parks just because they were born in another country. Children are the life of our societies. And as the leaders of today, as Samsung, we are dedicated to this cause. We will do our part. And if we work together to strengthen children's rights, supporting parents, and building sustainable societies, the results can be amazing. During the day, the Global Child Forum launched the Children's Rights and Business Atlas in partnership with UNICEF. It's the first of its kind. It's a free online tool. Now this amount of data has never been gathered and analyzed and accessible and shareable in this way. Hopefully we will, after this meeting, see a lot more engagement of the private sector, of corporations and businesses around the world who will see a much more concrete stake in what happens to children today. I think we have to be hopeful. Our children are hopeful. I have never met a child yet that doesn't have hope for the future. We would be letting those children down um, if we weren't hopeful um, for them and for our ability to change the world. The importance of investing in our next generation is what we have talked about today and it is a big challenge for all parts of society. This on a much larger scale than ever before in order to obtain a sustainable future. This day, for, however, has given me new hope and shown me great new opportunities.